I'm going to walk you through how to uh, copy and paste uh, or transfer a PNG or ping file into Photoshop without losing its uh, background transparency properties. So if you've looked up this video and you're watching this, chances are you've probably uh, tried doing this. Copy this image, go to Photoshop, and if let's say I try to create a new document and paste this logo in here, the background, which is uh, the transparent part turns black. So you can't really do a whole lot with this. I mean, even if you remove the the black, you are missing all this information here, which is the actual um, text over here. And the reason it does that is because uh, Microsoft actually strips the, the data for the transparency the moment it uh, copies onto the clipboard. Um, so obviously when you then paste it from the clipboard, since that information uh, about the transparency is gone, uh, you no longer will, will, will see that reflect. So there's two ways to, uh, to transfer an image or a transparent ping into Photoshop. The first method, if you use Photoshop, is um, you want to download this plugin called uh, Open in Photoshop. And basically you can just Google Open with Photoshop and then click on Add to Firefox. Um, and since I already have installed, uh, I guess the process goes through the same process. It just reinstalls it. But um, now if I go back to any of these images, and notice in, um, in Chrome, the same images, um, it's just this really faint checkered uh, pattern so that actually isn't part of the image that is the transparency and they use checkers uh, to communicate that this is transparent in Firefox is the checkers with these uh, thin gray stripes running around or um, uh, yeah um, going through so that's what communicates transparency so now what I can do in uh, Firefox is right click go to open with Photoshop and bam, see how it opens nicely with all this uh, of this information um, uh, with the transparency uh, stored. So now I can just resize this. And since it's transparent, if I want to, let's say, add some color to the background, it doesn't affect the logo. Now, provided this is a pretty nasty color, but um, just showing you, yeah, how. Um, yeah, you know, having transparent data for uh, photos and, and objects that uh, are supposed to be transparent is kind of nice because then you don't have to worry about having a big square of, of white around that. So that's one method, but what if you're kind of like me and Chrome is your browser of choice? Uh, which for me, it is. Unfortun uh, fortunately, there is a plugin similar. Unfortunately, it does not work with the latest versions of Chrome. So if you're using Chrome, the way that you would do it is, uh, let me pick another logo. Um, trying to pick one that is transparent. Let's see. Is this transparent? Uh, uh, nope. Okay, so this logo is transparent. So if I copy uh, this image and I paste it in here, ah, that's ugly. So I'm going to delete this layer and I'm going to show you how to transfer this image in using method two. So what I will do is right click, save image as, just save it to a desktop or uh, wherever, and then go back to Photoshop, go to open or file open, double click on here, continue, and then I can select all by pressing uh, Control A or on the Mac uh, Command A, or I can actually uh, use the um, the rectangular marquee tool, so like all oh, this way, and then copy on the keyboard, and then go back here, Control V to paste. Bam. So that's basically how you would. Uh, transfer a, tra a, a PNG or ping file with a transparent background 
into Photoshop without having to turn black or lose its uh, transparency properties. So hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you have, make sure you uh, um, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and make sure you go to my blog, yanshangkwang.com. Uh, I share a lot of inspiring uh, material um, from marketing to uh, computers, uh, web design, marketing, um, and just some interesting articles. So definitely check it out. Uh, I also have all my other videos here as well and on my YouTube channel. And make sure you uh, like me on uh, Facebook, subscribe to Twitter, Google+, and uh, make sure you follow my Instagram if you uh, like my stuff. So thank you very much for watching and uh, thank you for subscribing.